Kwaku, if someone walks up to you and they want you to say something to them, what would be the first thing that came to your mind? DJ. <laughs> DJ. When you were a boy, what did you always want it to be? DJ. <laughs> Why do you like to teach? Well, I, I figure that what I've been given, the gift I've been given, you need to pass it on because somebody passed it on to me. You see? So it's nice to see. I don't, I, I mean, I can be in the large company and perform, but I won't be able to give too much to anybody. But if I'm sitting in a classroom, like the eldest taught me, I'll be able to pass it on to those sitting in front of me. And then they can pass it on to somebody else. And by the time you realize, you created a circle. And that's the name of your new album, right? Yeah. The Circle. Is that yeah. why you named it that? Well, it's, it's part of it, yeah. The Circle is the, the amalgamation of the rhythms about the strength of rhythm and how we have grown to walk in rhythm and with rhythm. You just don't walk in rhythm, you have to walk with rhythm and walk in it. And you want to play, everything that you play in the rhythm has to be positive. No negative. What happens if it's negative? Because it won't solve any math. Mm. You know, and the, the, your answers will not come to you. Mm. So what, what do you think of when you put together an album? What, what do you do? What's your well, you want to you wanna put the album together so that it makes sense. That's number one. You have to put the album together that you have positivity in the album, that you have something in the album that will uplift somebody. Because, you know, you can play the album here, in this room here, but you're not playing the album for yourself. You could be playing it for somebody who is sick somewhere and needs your rhythm. In that instance, it means rhythm has chosen you to go and deliver. So you have, when you go to the person and uh, to play for the person, you might even say, well, it's too far, I'm not going. But you have to go. Because you're going to the person to give them something that will uplift them to become positive. What is one moment that you uplifted somebody that you'll ne a moment that you'll never forget that you really uplifted somebody? Oh, there are many, many, there are many instances. You don't give them weight. Hmm. Oh, that's the you don't give them weight because each person is unique. So that's the idea, the idea you want to project. What is this person? What is hurting this person? And what advice can I give to this person with? strength that I have that will uplift this person.